when your loom is full and you've slid these together and kind of crunched them and you can't fit any more, it's time to take your yarn off of the cardboard. To do that, we're going to have to tie those loose yarns together in a double knot. So this person had just the pink and the blue. I double knotted. I can trim those and kind of tuck them behind. At the beginning of your loom, we're going to have to peel the tape off. And this brownish piece of yarn is going to get tied to the blue that this person was weaving with. And an adult will help you with this part. Double knots are super important. So we've got one at the beginning, in the middle where we connected threads. Some of you might have more than one in the middle. And then again, at the end. So some of you might have to knot maybe five times. This person just had three knots. So I've taken the tape off. I've knotted those pieces. I'm gonna trim that long tail. If you still have your needle, You'll have to cut your needle off of your yarn and return your needle. At this point, I'm going to pull these brownish tan um, yarns off of the cardboard. And it should pull right off of the other side. It's okay to trim those really long tails. And that is your awesome weaving that we're turning into an owl. At the back counter. We will find a name tag, and on your name tag paper, there will be a couple of pieces of double-sided sticky tape. We are just going to stick our weavings with tape to this black piece of paper. So make sure you've kind of pushed pretty hard so that it doesn't pop off. From here, you have four things you're going to want to add to turn it into an owl. One is a branch for a pipe cleaner. I'm going to just weave this pipe cleaner in and out of those tannish brown strings. Some of you might have white for the string part. And then if you want to cut or bend, you can do anything you'd like with that pipe cleaner to make it kind of look like a branch. There are buttons and sticker eyes for the eyes. So you can choose if you just want to do buttons. If you want to put a sticker on those buttons, you could do both. There is a craft glue at the back counter. I don't want to glue onto this person's in case they don't want this, but this craft glue can go on the back of the button and that will help stick to the yarn really nicely, better than the regular glue we use. There are pieces of a felt that you could use to cut beaks. There are also larger pieces of felt if you want to cut wings. Remember, if you want to cut two wings, fold it in half to get two matching wings. Wings could be kind of a leaf shape or an oval shape. I cut kind of a teardrop or a leaf shape. You can decide if you want big wings or small wings. If you want to add a little fringe cut for a texture on the wings, you could do that. These wings as well, a little bit of craft glue, and they can tuck behind your owl. Again, I'm not using the glue because I don't want this person's to be ruined. I want them to be able to make their project. A little bit of craft glue for the wings and the eyes and the nose, and it will be good to go. These are going to stay on the back counter to dry with the craft glue on them. 